Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Sunday that he had spoken with International Monetary Fund Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva about Ukraine's financial stability and the country's post-war reconstruction. Discussed with IMF Managing Director Georgieva the issue of ensuring Ukraine's financial stability and preparations for post-war reconstruction. We have clear plans for now, as well as a vision of prospects. I'm sure cooperation between the IMF and Ukraine will continue to be fruitful, he said in a tweet. Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal said earlier that he will attend the IMF and World Bank meetings in Washington this week and will seek more financial assistance for Ukraine. Ukraine has completed a questionnaire that will form a starting point for the European Union to decide on membership, said Ayer Zukva, the deputy head of President Volodymyr Zelensky's office. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen handed the questionnaire to Zelensky during her visit to Kiev on April 8, pledging a speedier start to Ukraine's bid to become a member of the EU following Russia's invasion. Today, I can say that the document has been completed by the Ukrainian side, Zelkva told the Ukrainian public broadcaster Sunday evening. The European Commission will need to issue a recommendation on Ukraine's compliance with the necessary membership criteria, he added. We expect the recommendation to be positive, and then the ball will be on the side of the EU member states. Zafpa added that Ukraine expects to attain the status of a candidate country for EU accession in June during a scheduled meeting of the European Council. The European Council is to meet June 23 to 24, according, according to the schedule on its website. Next, we will need to start accession talks. And once we hold those talks, we can already talk about Ukraine's full membership in the EU, Zavka said. 18 people have been killed and more than 100 wounded in shelling in the past four days in the northeastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv, President Volodymyr Zelensky said late Sunday. On Sunday, five people were killed and 20 injured when a missile and artillery fire hit the city center and the Saltivka suburb, Regional Governor Ola Sinyahubov said earlier. Reuters could not independently verify the number of people killed. Zelensky said in his nightly address that Russia's shelling of Kharkiv has been constant. This is nothing but deliberate terror, mortars, artillery against ordinary residential quarters, against ordinary civilians, he said. The shattered port city of Mariupol appeared on the brink of falling to Russia on Sunday in what would give Moscow its biggest victory of the war yet and free up troops to take part in a potentially climactic battle for control of Ukraine's industrial east. Russia estimated 2,500 Ukrainian fighters were holding out at a hulking steel plant in the last pocket of resistance in Mariupol, much of which has been reduced to a smoking ruin during a merciless seven-week siege. Moscow gave the city's defenders a surrender or die ultimatum with a midday deadline, saying those who laid down their arms were guaranteed to keep their lives. But the fighters ignored it, just as they rejected previous ultimatums, we will fight absolutely to the end, to the win, in this war, Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal vowed on ABC's This Week. He said Ukraine is prepared to end the war through diplomacy if possible, but we do not have intention to surrender. Ukraine has asked members of the group of seven leading nations for $50 billion in financial support and is considering issuing 0% coupon bonds to help it cover a war-linked budget deficit over the next six months, the president's economic advisor, Ola Ostenko, said Sunday. Speaking on national television, Ostenko said the options were being actively discussed.